click get started for free or click login if you already have an account. I already have an account, I'm just gonna sign in. And you can see here are some apps that I've previously created, but if you're brand new, then you'll have nothing here. And then all you have to do is click create app and then you can call it whatever you want. So you might say, this is my Polygon MetaMask um, app or something. For the description, you put whatever you want. I, I use this app to track my MetaMask transactions on Polygon. And then for environment, this is really for your internal bookkeeping purposes. So you don't really need to change this. Uh, I mean, you can change it to whatever you want, but let's say I'm, I'm using mainnet. So I'm just gonna call it production because it's like real data. And then chain is Polygon. And the network is Polygon mainnet. We also support Polygon Mumbai. Just as a heads up, if you wanna create like a custom RPC endpoint for your MetaMask for any of these chains, we support Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, and Optimism and all the test nets. Create an app and then boom, you see that at the bottom here. And then we're gonna click into view details that'll bring us into the app page for this app. The key thing here is we want to view the key. <laughs> so I'll show this to you, uh, but in general, don't show this to people. This is what it looks like. This is the thing that we want to put into our configuration, okay? So I should probably show you that right now before we go any further. What we're trying to do is set up this these networks you see here when we click on this. Uh, you see it, all these options that you can pick for MetaMask to connect to whichever network that you're trying to communicate with. So for example, if you're buying Polygon NFTs, you need to have a Polygon endpoint. If you are interacting with DeFi on Ethereum, you should be operating on the Ethereum mainnet and your assets are different on each chain. And then if you're testing, then you're, you're on the Robston test network or the, the Coven test network or the Rinkby test network, so on and so forth. The problem is that sometimes the default node provider that MetaMask uses for these chains is not good enough for your purposes because that default node provider is shared across every single person who uses MetaMask. And so, you know, you're not really special. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's shared resource. So sometimes it could be slower. Sometimes the data could be out of date. In general, it's pretty good. You know, it's operated pretty fine for me. But if you want it to be even better, that's what we're talking about in this video. So how do we do it? We go down to custom RPC and uh, this is the, all the information that we have to fill out. These, these top three fields, network name, uh, new RPC URL, chain ID, these three are the mandatory ones. And then if you wanna make it like look nice and also be able to link out to a blockchain explorer, then you wanna fill out uh, these two. And by look nice, I just mean show the correct currency symbol for that chain. So let me, let me just uh, get, prepare all the information all at once first. Um, if we go down here, this actually is the example I go through in the doc. So I'll link this doc in the video too. So right here, it's, it's actually gonna look like this. So Alchemy Polygon Mainnet with my RPC URL endpoint and then with a, the 137 chain ID. There are different chain IDs that MetaMask uses. It's just kind of standardized across all the nodes. Um, they just know that if we're on chain ID 137, then it's Polygon Mainnet. If we're on chain ID 42, then it's Coven Testnet. You get the idea. So we're gonna need 137 and then we're gonna need um, uh, these are the optional fields, but we'll just use it. We'll need the MATA currency symbol, and then we'll need the Polygon Scan Blockchain URL, uh, Explorer URL. Okay, so let's open that up again. We're gonna do custom RPC. We're gonna do Alchemy Polygon Mainnet. Um, and then we have our RPC URL that I copied over. And then we have the chain ID, which is 137. And then you'll get, you might get this red uh, warning text. It's not an error. It's just like a reminder that, hey, we already give you like a network option that is using this chain ID. So just be aware that you're adding another one with the same chain ID. You can ignore this because, you know, you might want to have multiple providers. So currency symbol is Matic. Blockchain Explorer URL, uh, which is again optional, but we're going to put it here. So it'll be HTTPS polygonscan.com and ideally you copy and paste it over from like another window or something but i'm just afraid if i click out of my metamask it'll it'll go away so we're gonna hit save and then boom we are now on the alchemy polygon mainnet the currency symbol is matic and you can see the the icon that the chain id automatically fetches i believe this might be fetched from the polygon scan website or something like that i'm not too sure but anyways there you go